You are now listening to Let's Talk Battle Rap Podcast, the Battle Rap Podcast of New York and the world. Follow the show on all streaming platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and YouTube. Stay up to date with all of the daily news of Battle Rap culture with all of the latest stories, reports, stats, and facts. Follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at LTBR Podcast. Last but not least, log on to Let's Talk Battle Rap com for exclusive content and the latest merch. Enjoy the show. Two for a pitch die, black die, repping the team, repping the squad like a mascot. Yeah, I'm the one, you know that I got it, but I still speak for the half knots. Big die, I got the game in the chokehold like a slip knot. Too much ambition, I got too much drive. I'm probably due for a pitch die, black die, repping the team, repping the squad like a mascot. Yeah, I'm the one, you know that I got it, but I still speak for the half knots. Yeah. It's been a hell of a run. I done bagged all of the women I wanted to bag. I probably should slow down and settle with one. Probably should hit up my mama and tell her my problem. She always won't pray for her son. Tell her I got it. It's nothing your guy could do for me. I feel much more safe with a gun. Look what I've done. Just look at what I've become. They thought I was stuck in the mud. I done came up. They got up here like I weigh. I made them double the funds. Niggas be hating. Probably cause they wifey like me and she wanna give me the buns. She got a friend. Told her that she can come too because two heads is better than one. My competition is none. They are officially done. None to come after me. I am a one of one. I give you niggas the business, let's keep it a factory, inhale the smoke in my lungs, I'm with the lokes and the bloods, hated by some, by love by too many, you try to fuck with me, then simply your grave getting dug, who you niggas thought it was, big die, I got the game when it's so cold, like a slip knot, too much ambition, I got too much drive. Alright, alright, alright man, a nice Monday afternoon, for those who tune in, my name is Francis, this is Let's Talk Battle Rap, Radio Roulette Show, where we let all of the people Voice their opinions unfiltered, say their thoughts on all of the latest news topics reoccurring in Battle Rap right now. And we did get an announcement Friday evening. You're real sneaky with these announcements, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they just drop it when you just live in regular life away from Battle Rap, thinking you can take a break, thinking you can unplug for 24 hours. You got a chance to just relax. Nah, not at all. They dropped the bombshell. Kayshawn versus Easy to Block Captain will be going down on Smack Volume 9 December 18th live on Caffeine. And wow, what a banger of a battle. You know, we, we were due for another easy battle. We remember he was booked against Murder Mook. Then they gave him Kayshawn. Something about Easy in Harlem, right? Easy battled Rex, was booked against Mook. Now he's battling Shine and even Chess from New York. I guess it's a whole Philly, New York thing. And if anybody knows, Philly, New York is an all time. Historic rivalry in battle rap, early 2000s, and Easy keeps it alive today. You know, he really embodies the essence of a Philly battle rapper that's advanced to our new era of battle rap. Like, Easy, the block captain, will never run out of these drug metaphors, will never run out of street lessons, is able to punchline in between his setups, and a lot of it's honestly kind of slim, slim, simplistic, excuse me, but it's so hard hitting, relatable, and powerful. That it makes me feel like whatever formula he's created is not only sustainable and duplicatable, he will never run out of this level of content. So, of course, if you just look at Easy's last four battles, let's just look at them on the app, for example. Let's look at them statistically. He battled Danny Myers, Born Legacy 9 headliner. Uh, battle of the night, obviously the highest reactor battle of the night. And most would say that's a win for him, even though Danny really honestly made that debatable. I know the story. They lied about that in the building, saying it was a 30. It was a win for Easy, but it's debatable. Moving on. Uh, he gets T-Top for Volume 6. Got pushed back to Super Fight. Top of the year this year. Don't forget, it happened in January. So it's going to count for his year. And him and T-Top, another battle of the night. Highest reactive battle of the night. Then on Gnome, he has the highest reactive performance of the night. The highest reactive battle with a T-Rex. And I know Geechee and Nitty are the battle of the night. I'm just saying statistically, this is three times in a row now. It's a hat trick for Easy to Block Captain where he has shown his statistical output and his statistical dominance, right? Then, obviously, Chess, we know it's a battle of the year. Don't even got to dive into it. So his last four battles have been three battle of the nights or performance of the nights and a battle of the year. Like, every single time he's touching the stage, he's making an impact not just by content, not just by numbers, but the people can feel it. It's the reason why he's aiding on a URL app. And I'm looking at Shine's last couple battles on the app, and they just don't match up, man. You know, respectfully, like, he has the E-Heart battle, clear win for him. The Patch Day battle, a performance that we um, felt was 
underwhelming as a as as a fan base of the culture, right? Like we can all agree that that wasn't a case shine that we were content with. The Chilla Jones battle, we've never seen we've never seen Shine lose like that, at least not in the last couple of years, to be honest. And then the Hollow battle was another battle was, was was a bit underwhelming. We were expecting him to be back on the stage after not touching it for two years back in Houston to really get back in that element. So you look at his last four compared to Easy's last four, it makes all the sense in the world that Easy has the momentum and why Easy would be a favorite. Not by a large margin, though. Kayshawn deserves that respect. Kayshawn has gone the last three years being a top three, four, five champion of the year candidate. You don't consistently be that good and it just all go away, right? Not And also add on his entire career. We haven't even dived into his career. Kayshawn earns the respect. If he's an underdog because of momentum and recent transactions, fair, fine. I can't complain about that. This is still K Shine, though. All right, it's the sixth highest viewed battle rapper in the world. All right, this is a guy that went on a streak in the last couple of years that people were arguing he didn't even lose a round. I, th- I thought that was a myth. I definitely thought he lost some rounds in between that. But regardless, he was consistently winning, consistently dominating, consistently performing at a high level. But the last time Shine has had a performance of the night on the car was Summer Madness Ten. That's over. That's over thirteen months ago at this point. So, easy to block captain is a dangerous match for Shine. This is a very, very, very interesting battle. I'm looking forward to see the implications it'll hold via champion of the year. Because obviously, Easy's year has been nothing but efficient, nothing but dominant, nothing but uh, masterful, high-level, elite content. But now we get to see <laughs> it happen again versus another high-caliber name. Like, Easy is just taking out top talent at this point like he he said if you don't give me goods give me verb oh let me guess you want a legend or another legend and now you get shine like it's a wrap we're never gonna see easy and get slay easy's just gonna keep transcending at this point but i've talked enough man let's bring in some of the calls on the radio roulette let's bring in my man wasalo wasalu my bad as a speaker go ahead wasalu give me your thoughts on k shine versus easy to block captain smack volume nine Uh, you mentioned that there was kind of this whole dialogue about K Shine not moving around for I think two or three years. I mean, yeah, you could, you could. Based off of that point, I think K Shine has gone around in six years. So, yeah, it's going to be a clear easy play. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why, why K Shine could go against arguably maybe the best battle rapper right now after. Uh, his uh, performance against Trevor and Yeah, man. Like I said in the beginning, man, momentum is all in Easy's favor. So I, I, I understand why people feel Easy should be the favorite. Easy will win. Easy's equipped with every all the tools to win. Like it, it all makes sense. If you look at Easy's last battles, we just said it. Battle of the night, battle of the night, performance of the night, battle of the year. Like you can't ask for a better last four performances than that. You know what I mean? But K Shine is still K Shine though, right? Perhaps. <laughs> like I'm just like what what easy did to Danny Myers, what um what easy did to Rex. I I I was at some of this and I thought chess one two one and then I rewatched it and I was like had easy edging every round. You just Wow It's so hard to beat him now. In my opinion, I I think he's the best. Hey, look, I, I'm not going to argue with you because that man is rolling right now. Like, it's it's hard. There's nothing to nitpick about easy. There's nothing to nitpick. But I will say this, though. I don't think Sean's getting 30 because I have that much respect for Sean, and I know he can he can rise from the ashes from his last couple performances that we weren't really happy with. And he's aware that his last three battles were his best. He said on Hip Hop is Real, end quote, he's a report. He said, I haven't watched back my last three battles. I just know my peers weren't really happy with those performances. So he's aware, and that self awareness is already the first step. Right. Okay, that's fair. So, I, I definitely got an easy, easy two one. But I understand why there's so many people like you, Wasala, to feel like easy thirty. I don't blame you. I do blame you, but I don't blame you at the same time. You feel me? No, no, I, I, I completely understand. It's just like, like easy talks different. Like, 
the, the line against Danny when he's like, I had the like, Confederate flag outside the house and they invaded the trap since. Oh my God. And everything you said, against, all the lines you can stress, like, if I've thought about it and I've already thought about it in the put. Nah, nah, he's on another one right now. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to get in the ring with him. It's, it's not a good idea to get in a ring with him at all. That's why there's a lot of people that um, I'm not surprised they're waiting to see if they can find some chinks in his armor. Uh, well, so I don't go nowhere. Let's bring in uh, Grim Reaper here as a speaker. All right, Grim, you have the speaker role. K Sean versus Easy to Block Captain, Volume 9. Your thoughts? Man, it's a good battle, I think. And even though they're in an environment where both of them actually thought that, I, I, I'm listening for the material and how K Sean is going to approach this battle. Because it's, I think he's kind of upset with his last few performances. And the thing is with this one, I don't think he's as pissed off as he was with Hollow. You know, he was emotional doing the face off, things like that. I noticed he's a little more calm and collected. He's been quiet. So I, I think it's going to be a better battle than people expect it to be. But... I actually got a 2-1 either way, but when I pick this winner, I got to go with squad. Gunshot is my squad, so I got easy 2-1. Oh, yeah, it's not a biased pick. That's, that's perfectly a non, that's perfectly a non-biased pick. I appreciate that. Yeah. I love this whole card, though. Yeah, no, the, the whole card, the whole card is, is phenomenal. I, I'm actually... I'm actually impressed to see that um, K. Shine is ready to get back into the ring. You know, uh, mm -hmm. he definitely um, has openly said that he's uh, he's experienced some losses in his family that I don't want to dive too deep into. But I'm, you know, I'm just kind of I'm always aware. Sometimes the battle rappers go through a lot. We gotta always remember these guys are human. You know, so like we never really know what they go through sometimes unless they reveal it. And battle rap is just tough, man, because nobody cares about your emotions in battle rap, right? Like they just like want the, yeah. they just want the rounds. I think I got like the least. I think the matchup I'm most excited for is like. Well, the matchup I'm most excited for is Vixen and Casey. Vixen and Casey, tell us why. I've been waiting for that battle literally for almost two years. They were supposed to battle two years ago. A lot of people don't know that. They were scheduled to battle the same day Misfit battled uh, Farrah Fair Funeral. Mm hmm Yeah, I remember that. I was there. Yeah. I just... I, I, Shuni, I mean, Dixon and Casey are like, well, favorite females. Dixon is currently one of my favorite right now. What do you what do you what do you think is uh who do you think has the advantage in that battle? Well, it's the thing. This battle is actually on a stage, so I like that they're giving the females a chance to impress the crowd and get the reaction things that they couldn't get in the caffeine room like that. As far as experience wise, Casey is most experienced at being competing in Queen of the Ring and competing on that royalty card. I was there for that too. But they had over a thousand people, and she rocked that room for all three rounds. No, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. Um, it is gonna be on a stage, and I know a lot of people already think to themselves, like, "Wait, Smack Volume has a crowd. Like, that defeats the purpose." And while it kind of does throw off the theme, I just want to highlight that everything the last two years has been out of whack. We've had a gnome in the summer madness as of recently in an empty room, you know what I'm saying, or in a small crowd. And almost all of these caffeine room events before the stages came back were technically like the size of a volume anyway. It really was no right. difference just besides the name. So I, I'm I'm okay with this being weird. Everything has been weird the last two years. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I just want to see what Dixon could do on that stage because I keep I tell Dixon all the time. I think she is like one of the females that hasn't been on stage yet. That's built for that big stage. Like her style and the way she performs and her delivery. I think she's built for that big stage. All right, well, Sal, what you think of Vixen and Casey? I'm going to bring in some more callers after this. Mm-hmm. I'm not, uh, I'm 
I'm not too familiar with uh, with the female side of the rap, so I will uh, cheers you that one. All right, say less, man. And you know what? I'll tell you this much. On December 18th, you can get familiar, right? Well, Salud, man. Thanks for tapping in as always, bro. Yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate your time. I appreciate you, man. All right, man. Let's go ahead and bring in my man. My man, true to the hustle, double K203. You're now on the radio roulette. We're talking some K-Shine and easy to block. Captain, let's hear your predictions. Okay, what's going on, y'all? Uh... Uh, LTBR, I appreciate y'all for having me on today. Appreciate you for tapping in. Um, just to start off, I'm just gonna say like this has to be my favorite volume card because we, it's just phenomenal. Like the card is stacked from top to bottom, and then with the ladies making history, like uh, Grim said, being the first female battle on a volume ever, that's like real. Like that brings the the excitement to the uh, Vixen and Casey. Um, but to get back to Shine versus Easy, I was saying on another space, <clears throat> I was saying on another space earlier uh, last week before I had got, uh, I got vaulted off of it for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. I was it's saying, a, I was specifically a, saying K Shine cannot lose this battle. Like, yes, Easy is one of the top new era stars, if not the top new era star. Like, K Shine cannot lose this battle for a lot of reasons. And for two reasons, I'm going to say is because, like you just said before you let, you know, some of the speakers on, you said that his peers haven't really been liking his effort lately. His peers haven't been liking how he's, how he's, how he's brought his material. And it's like, for me, I'm a K Shine fan to the death. Like, K Shine has rocked rooms with ease. And the fact that he's picking this battle to come back, uh, it's a volume, and it's against one of the top New Era stars. It's going to be a spectacular battle. But, like, I have to go with Easy edging him 2-1. And I'm going to say Easy's going to win the second and third. And the reason why I say that is Easy, the way Easy does it, Easy's not going to run out of anything at this point. Easy has been through the mud, Easy has been through the hard times, has been through the prison stories, has been through all of that stuff, and has come out triumphant, and has transcended to battle rap, has, transcend, has transcended his lifestyle to battle rap, and now could be arguably, like I said, I feel like if he's not on the champion of the year list, which I really think he is going to be on, definitely, I pretty definitely. Much would put him, like if I had a list of top 10, I would put Easy his top three, my top three, because of the impact, the opponents. He took Rex. I think if Mook would have made that battle, I think he would have lost his mind against Mook. I think that would have been the best easy to block captain we have ever, ever seen because of who it is and because of the stature that Murder Mook is and the, the, you know what I mean, the impact that Murder Mook has had on battle rap. So this is why I'm um, I'm actually on break right now. So I'm just going to say this real quick before I get out of here. I think, you know what I mean? Thank you to Let's Talk Battle Rap Podcast. I follow you guys every day. I'm always appreciate in tune that. with what you guys are doing. Appreciate I appreciate that. y'all for having me. But I'm going to go with Easy to Block Captain and a 2-1 edge on Smack Volume 9. I respect that. I appreciate you for always tapping in. I want to say this about Easy and Mook. I have no doubt that if Easy and Mook would have went down the same night as Loda Lux and Geechee, and you compare those two, New Era versus the DVD Pioneers, um, I have no doubt that Mook would have been worse than Lux on that stage, and I have no doubt that Easy would have been better than Geechee on that stage. So that win could have probably had a higher level of magnitude than Lux and Geechee, uh, but we'll never know that now because it didn't happen. True that, true that. Hey, French, you want to know what's crazy? What's up, Grim? Easy was pissed off when they said that battle wasn't happening. He said he was, he said he was two rounds finished. Yep, he did say that before he announced that, bro. Before they announced that that battle wasn't See, happening. All right, real, real quick, man. I just wanted. I kind of, I kind of want to defend Mook on this just a little bit because battle rap has become so accelerated that we should normalize our battlers admitting that they can't get prepared in a short amount of time. Like, I've never even known Mook to battle within three weeks to begin with. The problem was that Mook jumped out the window on Sunday night before he knew he wanted to cancel the battle, 
talking shit, saying the easy is a one trick pony. Nah, bro, you 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 uh-huh. can't you can't jump uh-huh. out the window and then say you can't get ready. You got to pick a side, stay radio silent, and then tell the people that you can't do it. Not to mention, we know this already because it was reported. The trailer came out before the contracts were signed, which is not supposed to happen. Which is a gamble on the league for doing that. Obviously, testing the waters, pushing the boundaries, and not getting an agreement from both parties, I guess, or a contractual agreement from both parties. So I, I think Mook, ha- Mook was in his right to decline the battle. He just he has he has bad. PR, but that's nothing new. Uh huh. Real quick, man. My man Titus is in the building. Update guys in the building. What's the word, Titus? Yeah. What's good, bro? How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. We're talking easy, uh, the block captain versus K Sean with the people. We got two callers we're about to bring in shortly, but we need to hear your thoughts on it and some of your thoughts on all the stuff that we've heard so far today. Oh, man. Like you said earlier, we know what Sean been dealing with. If you know, you know. Like you can find it if you go looking for it. We ain't gonna go too deep into it, but like, I don't. This is a dangerous battle for somebody on a losing streak, bro. Mm. Like this, somebody on a losing streak battling one of the hottest battlers of the last year and a half. It's it feels real set up-y. It Yeah. Feels like a lineup. Does it not? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Set up. What made you go with that verse? Talk. It feels like it feels like a lineup, bro. It's like, yeah, Kayshawn, that's a big name. And it's like, all right, I'm going to use the UFC analogy, right? When the UFC got a nice rival contender, they throw some veteran out there that's not really that good, but they name still all weight, and they let him get beat up, and they promote their new child, their new kid. That's what this feels like to me. Mm. It feels like that to me. It does. Look, we've talked about this off record, right? Like, this is a very right. dangerous battle for Shine. And we we did some watching of the game tapes over the weekend. And, like, recent transactions don't add up in his favor. But more importantly, Easy the Block Captain has kind of been in this element, the way he raps and battles. He's been like this for years. It's just now he's, he's made it advanced. Now he gets to it more quicker. Now he's able to punch right. a little bit more in between. That, and... His style of content will never run dry. Like he, he, he. Right. You said it best. Pusha T told us we'll never get tired of, of drug bars ever. <laughs> ever. At no point, bro. Drug bars will hit forever. It's never enough. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't. I don't think with the direct style, the, the directness on top of Easy's, um, you know, life story and everything. On top of with the direct, I don't think punches can beat that. Like Sean has to reinvent himself again for this one. And I don't know if he's in the right state to do that right now. Not only do we not know if he's in the right state, we don't know if he picked the right opponent to try that on. So yeah, that's, that's the other thing. That's the other part. <laughs> All right, Titus, let's go ahead and bring some more calls. And let's bring my man, Jameer. Jameer, what's the word, man? Go ahead and mute yourself. Let's hear your thoughts on k versus Easy. Yo, yo, yo. Um, first of all, always appreciate the space. I don't got a lot of time because I got a meeting to go to. But let me just Y'all say some this. degenerates, First man. Y'all don't work. Y'all can't help but talk um, some battle rap, man. Y'all some degenerates. I love it. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. You know, I'm always going to fuck with y'all, for real, for real. What's the word? Um, shout out to my man, Word Smith. He just battled on um, Fight Club. Uh, get familiar. That nigga's nice. Shout out to Word Smith. Uh, shout out to him. But, but, like, I think niggas is completely on dog food if they think that easy to block out is about to dog walk K Sean. Wow. I don't think. Easy three zero. I didn't seen a lot of dumb shit, and I couldn't voice my opinion on it because I I I do think all right. So when we talk about yes, like the UFC, you got got the new up and comers. I don't want people to stray far away from the fact that this is also an art. This is an art. Niggas is listening to aggressive poetry at the end of the day with performance attached to it. Kayshawn knows how to battle rap. Kayshawn knows how to win, and he's been doing it for years. Years. I would never out my mouth say that Kayshawn is going to get fucking 3 0 by, by anybody. Now, I'm not saying it can't happen, but Sean has had what? It has happened this year. Yeah, no, no. I, I said I wouldn't say it, like, out my mouth. Yes, he's been 3 0. Everybody's been beat. I can't say, though. As somebody who has watched Kayshawn since the Lions then, that that man is going to get convincingly 3 oh, convincingly three old by easy to block cap. So are you picking Sean to win or not? Like, uh, you know, I, I, I hear you're upset at what you. I, I, I hear you're upset at what you're reading, but what are you? What are you going with? Niggas got Sean fucked up. 
completely. And I think it's going to be a classic battle. Don't don't not taking nothing away from Easy. I think he's going to go in there and show that he belongs here. But niggas got K. Sean completely fucked up. If you think that nigga's coming there to play, first of all, this is a more element battle for him. The the chilling shit, that's that's cool. You know, he wasn't he wasn't matching chilling. Chilling wasn't matching his energy. This is a nigga that's gonna match his energy, and he heard what people been saying. You don't think K. Sean gonna come in there on some different shit? I don't. Niggas honestly. got Sean fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> I really don't. I don't either. I, I like I like the faith you got though. We need see this is what makes battle rap back. Yo, people still got faith. This right. nigga went. Don't let go. What was his What was his win streak? This anybody that's that been on like a, one of those. Anybody that been on let's just say twenty, right? Let's just say twenty. If you win twenty battles in a row, I'm not saying he did because I think he lost to Danny. I think Av was a but. He he won a lot of battles in a row. Let's just say that. Anybody that know how to battle on that level, I would never count out and say that that nigga that that nigga gonna get three zero. Like people was like, oh, John John's gonna three zero serve. How? How? These like these are elite niggas, and because they had bad games, I'm I can't completely count them out. That's niggas fair. Niggas gonna lose their mind if they think. Kayshawn is going to go up there and get the same kind of performance and fall into the same pitfalls that he did with Chilla Jones. This is and that's though. all I wanted to say. This is the thing, though, right? All right. Some madness, perhaps we were there, we all thought, we were like, yo, Sean, back on stage, this might get crazy. And then he rapped, it's like, ah, that's, that didn't work. That's not it. Yeah, but, like, there's uh, a chance that Sean is... Sean's peak is gone, and this is he's just a can't tap into that level anymore. There's a good possibility that's what's going on. He's fighting somebody who's reaching their peak right now. That's dangerous. Same thing we said. Same thing we said about Surf. Surf is why. No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. That's peak. That was what if somebody's oh, favorite battle rap CEO. word was that not the narrative? I'm CEO of Waver. I'm CEO of the Waver Corporation. I don't, I don't, I don't know okay, people. Oh, okay, but did, people. but did you see that prior to the to, to the John John battle? I didn't. I don't think I heard them saying Surf was washed. They thought John John went because the narrative for that battle was if Surf is Surf gonna bring three rounds. That was right. Because battle. Pe- people thought that's oh, a very different. That's a very different conversation. This nigga got beat by forty. Got beat by Lux. I don't think he could do it. That was the narrative. Come on, we 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 know. We but know that was that. But why was that the narrative though? Be- because he had he had bad battles. Because he wasn't bringing three rounds. Sean is bringing three rounds and losing. It's a very different conversation. Twi- but here's what I'm saying. Twice, right? Two times. Badly. Twice. Badly. But you niggas get by. It's battle rap. Anybody can be beat. But have, but comparing Sean's year to Easy's year, it looks like this. Like people saying Sean getting thirty isn't a shock just because how good Easy's been this year. That's a fucking. But that. But all right. But again, you 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 hear this narrative. You know Sean's gonna get three old. But when I look at the tail of the tape. This is the kind of battle that Sean clearly wants. You know, he, he was frustrated with Hollow. Nigga was a weirdo. He's frustrated <laughs> with Killer. Didn't give him the energy that he wanted. Then then the niggas getting somebody who's aggressive and can talk that shit. I, I don't just, think that Sean is just gonna lie down like 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 the same kind of Sean that we saw versus them two. That's just my opinion. I gotta run. I love y'all. Andrea. You know, salute, bro. Shout out to the spaces. Salute, Let's go man. Salute. Rap. I, I fuck with y'all. Salute, my brother. Salute. salute a, lo- a lot of you guys right, tapping peace. in. A lot of you guys tapping in the middle of your work day. It's kind of safe because you can drop your opinion and walk out without having to hear the rebuttal. <laughs> I, see, I see what y'all, I see what y'all doing, man. Rich, man, you you tapped in. You got the speaker roll. What did you think of what we just heard? Was it blasphemy? Do you agree with it? And what are your thoughts on this battle? Yeah, I'm in the same situation. I got a little break, so. Uh, Yo, what's going on, my, man? What's the tape? word? <laughs> <laughs> yo, like first of all, yo, first of all, let's talk about this. So, we're saying like K. Shine is just fell off the face of the earth, can't rap, like went on a three-year, like getting thirty losing streak. Dude, he just had one of the best two-on-twos like ever with him and Luke Castro versus Bonds and Ass. 
Yeah, okay, the cello battle was not good. The hollow battle was not good. But we're expecting him to do that against easy to block captain in a volume setting. I don't Correct. think, well, technically, it's like 300 people or something going to be there. I'll be there, but, Terrible. That's you sign. know, <laughs> it's more like a URL initiation. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Honestly, I think we've seen peak easy to block captain burst chest. That's the best easy we ever seen. And I think that y'all have K-Shine, like, so far down, like y'all are like straight disrespect and haven't got easy so far up that K Sean has the ability to win this battle and not be at a hundred percent great because y'all are thinking that he's just gonna get dog walked by easy to block out there. And I don't see that because if easy lines don't hit, easy pen is not intricate and he don't throw a lot of punches. So Sean can out punch him and may win this battle. And I got him winning two one just because of all the dishes. Finally, a shine caller. Now, Finally, like say, let's talk bad rap. I love your platform, but uh, I'm gonna have to go back down to listen to brother and go back to work. All right, man. Look, I'm gonna yeah, just say I'm, 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 I'm ducking the smoke at work. Yeah, I'm gonna say this, yeah, man. I'm I'm a, yo, I, he, had, he had to go. Oh, Salute to Rich. We had to go. All right. Was, you cannot pick K shine and then just ran. dip. You I can't do that. Smoke. You can't do that. I'm not allowing this. <laughs> 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 nah, man, this is unacceptable, man. Let's bring let's let's bring in our day one young Erlin, man, our brother. You know, what I'm saying our slack, Damn. our slack fam. Please tell me you're not at work, and please tell me you're not picking shine and just gonna drop your opinion and run away. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good, Erlin? What's the word? What's good, y'all? I salute. Let's talk battle rap. Salute my bro Titus. Salute my bro France. Y'all salute, the salute. Y'all already know. Salute, salute. Look, man. The talk different. I think Easy gonna win this battle. Don't get me wrong. But yo, I feel like K Sign is like the battler of two extremes, yo. He's either all the way overhyped, deep undefeated for two years, some wild shit, or now he's T Rex all of a sudden. And like Rich said, he's gonna fall off the cliff. Like, can we get some moderation in the building? Like, he's still a great battle, though. Talk. His battle rap IQ is still there. His skill is still there, you know what I mean? He just doesn't have the momentum behind him. You know what I mean? I don't know why people all of a sudden acting like K-Sign is not a wizard. He's a, he's one of the masters of stage wizardry, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he can really well make his battle. Say so what? You want one wizard to battle rap? His name's Calico, sir. It's not going to work. Okay. Wizardry's not going to work here. Why not? Why not? It's too much drugs for magic, man. I it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but look, but look, I understand he doesn't have the momentum behind him, but we seen like like battles set up like this where our battle rap legends, we think, okay, it's time for y'all to step outside the door, pass the torch to the you know, to the younger talent or, or not even younger talent, but you know, the talent with more momentum behind him. We saw it with Cliffs and Twerk, bro. It was the same thing. You know what I mean? All it takes is the right vet move, you know, to stay in the battle, make it competitive. All I need to do is keep it debatable. I think he can do that. I don't know how to feel about that, Tyus. What do you think? I mean, I feel like Sean does deserve this respect based off reputation, but just based off the work I've seen this year, I I don't feel very confident in it, man. I don't. Not for not for easy. Even done to bro, bro, if people, you could, people are saying some wild shit like three old body bag, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If that was to happen, that'd be sad. I wouldn't be happy about that. <laughs> oh, no, I don't, I don't want that either. I don't want that either, but I really don't. Like, I don't want that happen, but I, I feel like he's going to get the battle clearly. Like, two, I, I just think it's going to be a clear win. I feel like it's going like to be a clear win, too, but I don't think it's going to be a bad loss. The sign. I, I, maybe I'm too optimistic. I can't in my mind imagine sign up there looking crazy for three rounds versus easy, yo. I couldn't have imagined it either and then it happened twice this year. And I was like, wow. It, my thing is, though, <laughs> I, I heard somebody say earlier they, they're picking easy 2-1, but they got Sean winning the first. 
And I think Sean can do that. Like, Sean can come out the gate and be electric and everybody be like, yo, this is the best Sean round right. I've heard in the last 12 months. But I don't feel like he can keep that for a whole three rounds. Like, what Easy does, like, right. it's just straight three straight rounds of, of his level of content. And it, like, it never wavers. It never goes too low. It never goes too high where, like, the other rounds are that much better than that one. You know what I mean? So he's able to just okay. consistently be that. And plus, you have a plethora of things to talk about, right? Again, Harlem Philly rivalry, the New York angle. He yeah. just left NWX. This battle, like, battle is very much an Easy's comfort zone, in my opinion. And, and yeah. like we were saying at the top of the space, like Easy's last four battles, just off the app alone, battle of the night, battle of the night, performance of the night, battle of the year. Like nobody can ask for a better four battle run than that. So if I think it's very safe to say Easy can do that yet again. You know what I mean? You've seen it four times in a row. It's not like it's an outlier, or it's not like he has an extreme high ceiling or, or, or level that he can't reach again. Like this is this is duplicatable for him, I think. No, nah, I'm with you, but I'm trying to figure out why when it comes to K sign, we always are going with one extreme or the other. Like why can't we ever just put things in its proper perspective that, you know, okay, he's no different than any other battler that has his peaks and valleys. I don't think he's past his peak and he can never get it back. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel like you. Sean's a very volatile battle rapper. But he said it were there's never like a I feel like there's never like a mid K Sean battle. It's always like he's either great or he's not good at all. I can't ever think I can't think of a K Sean battle, he's just in the middle somewhere. You know what it is so too? You, you know what it is too? I, people I, uh I, when it comes to Sean and they get their opinions or their takes on them, it's always like far left or far right. Could that right. how he performs? No, you know what it is too? Yeah. You know you know what it is? Like Shine has picked has picked a side, right? Like, I don't feel like his pen is that intricate, but he's able to have the perfect level of content, performance, and punchlines that in the moment, like, it's very impactful. But sometimes on the replay, people aren't favorable towards it. That's why on the app, you'll see, like, he's four and five. Like, he's not even at 500 on the app because people don't really enjoy him on the rewatch. And I've heard that a lot. That's been something that's been, like, said about Shine. So it's like, I'm not sure if he has enough of his performance and impact to overshadow Easy's performance and impact in that moment. And I don't think he'll have the writing to compete with it on the replay, neither. Okay, yeah. but how do you how do you feel how do you feel it if this affects Easy if the battle is debatable or he loses clear to sign? All right, if he loses if he, lose, if, he, if he loses clear if he loses clear if he to a great shine. Yeah, I don't if, think it's gonna hurt. You, if, oh, Sean's back. more. Of, oh, Sean's back. Yeah, if like he, he, he he's in a good spot because if he gets a really good shine, he would have gotten the best shine we've seen in a while, which helps right. him add value to the battle. But also, I do think Easy is due for a lesson. I don't know who's gonna give it to him. I don't know when he will learn this lesson. <laughs> but if he were to lose, <laughs> if he were to, if he were to lose for shine, you'd be like, oh yeah, he was due for his one vet lesson where like somebody that's way more experienced than him, you know, won the battle. We should we shouldn't be that surprised, but. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I just don't see Easy losing just because of where he's at right now. But it, it help. It helps his. It helps his case if Shine is great and he matches that intensity. Right. I mean, I feel about this the same way I feel about Clips and Beat Out. I got Beat Out beating Clips clear too, but I'm not turning our battle rap legends out like that because any given battle, no matter what battle is happening going into the next one, they can turn up. I've been proven wrong about that a bunch of times, so I can never really count them out for real. That's fair. That's you know, and, that, and that's respect. Fair. That's respect to the, to the people building their legacies and their careers. Well, don't go nowhere, bro. Right. I got I got another speaker here, Mister LRG three. My man Doug, go ahead and unmute yourself. You got speak role. What's your thoughts on K Shine versus Easy to Block Captain? Hey, what it do? What it do? Um, first of all. Let me just tell you my prediction off rip. I have K Shine two one. All right. And uh it for me it's kinda hard for this particular match because it's always a narrative, man. I hate that word though, but it's always a narrative going to these type of battles. Sean is the the bad guy in this battle. And Easy is the, the newcomer love a boy like people love him so with that being said the 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 threshold for for easy to like just do very well is lower than k-shine k 
now have to like really, really go wild or for them to get a clear win. Hold on, man. I can't. I, I can't agree with this because, like, like I keep saying, like, all right, if we're gonna respect Kayshawn's career, for sure, he's done more. He he has a reason to not say I'm uh, Kayshawn's getting thirty. If we're going by the most recent battles, their last three, four, five battles, like it's very hard for me to feel like in Kayshawn's sample size, he has an advantage of like Easy. Like there, this is I don't. I think it's not just a narrative; it's a valid fact that like Easy's last three, four battles have been far superiors than Sean's last three or four. That's fair, right? Yes. Yes. No, no, you're absolutely right. It, it is fair. But is recency bias? That is a fact, though. It's a good I mean, sample size. The whole year we're for data. How is it recency bias? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, you're right. The four battles no, right. he's been having, great. Phenomenal. And k like, you know, believe it or not, is like, what have you done for me lately? And it's good. Kayshawn has been good, but just not. I feel like, I feel like everybody, look, everybody thinks we're throwing Kayshawn away for one performance. It's not just one performance. It's been 12 months since we've gotten a high-level Kayshawn performance. Like, it's not just what have you done for me lately. It's what have you done for me in the last year. Like, this is this is a solid size of battles where I can question his momentum. Yeah. 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 No, no, you're right. You're right. Just that for me, the hollow battle is so like the way he was talking into the battle of hollow. I'm thinking like, yo, he's about to go crazy. And then it wasn't that. So I was like, oh, well, I don't know what the fuck would happen. Like, because he really, he didn't want the battle for K, not K-Shine, for chess, but he wilded out on him. So when he did want to battle like Hollow, he didn't really do that. If anything, Hollow neutralized him. Well, on that same time spectrum, Easy has been doing fucking work. So I, I mean, I, I don't want to say, I don't want, I, I don't have Easy winning this battle. Yeah, you, 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 you made that clear. This battle because you made that clear of like, yeah. He could easily win this battle because of just like how the momentum is going. But I don't know. It just it feels like it's just sometimes like yo. I just gotta show you that like I've been doing this shit for a while. I just don't know if easy to block captain is the guy to make a comeback on. It's very, 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 very risky and dangerous territories. It's very risky and very dangerous, but it has to be a statement somewhere. Has to be a statement. Well, when the because statement and when the statement isn't made, are you going to spin the block on the show? Say again. When the statement isn't made, are you going to spin the block on the show? Are you going to come back and let us know the statement was not made? Oh yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I'm not I'm not one of the niggas who's going like run. No, nah, I'll definitely say okay. The statement. I'll definitely, I'll definitely say like, oh yeah, you know, I was wrong. Well, I was right. And nah, as I love, I love. Yeah. It's all opinionated. What'd you say, Orlin? Go ahead. T- chime in, bro. No, I was going to say the statement different. God damn it. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think, I think Son knows that he cannot play with easy this battle. I don't think he will. Because while I think, I don't think Son, I don't think easy is going to make Son look crazy. He has all the ability to do so if Son go in there bullshitting. That's why I don't think he will. Yeah. The scary part about Sean bullshitting is that he doesn't think he's bullshitting. He thinks he's putting out good content. That's the thing. He, he's not. He's, he doesn't think it's bullshit. He thinks it's high level material, and it doesn't translate in what he thought in his head to what we perceived. So, so Francis, I'm assuming that you have easy. I do have easy, but I don't have him thirty. I, I have him giving shine around off the respect because obviously I, I respect of the course. legends. I have to of respect. Course, you, too. you have to respect the legends. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But I, I'm understanding the outlandish overreaction to it. I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. But for me, it's going to be one of those rounds that easy talks to his soul. Because, look, the worst thing a legend can have is time. And with time in this game brings a lot of drama. Mm. And Easy's one of the best niggas to talk to 
about any that's what I'm saying. That's like in your life. he has so much in his arsenal, and then he this is the first K Sean battle since NWX broke up. Like that in itself might be around. Yeah, it's going one and round. It's going one and round for sure. Especially when the rapid fire K Sean is happening with the punches and shit. It's going to be it's going to land. But when Easy is talking to you, it's going to neglect all that other shit. Yeah, it sounds like you want to say easy 2-1. Really, I was about to say, <laughs> you make all the points to easy. Yeah, like, no, but that's what I got to do. I got to do both. I, I got to give points for both. Hey, you know, for me, like, it's, like, I can't say K-Shine is going to lose clearly. I'm not saying that, but I just, I have faith in K-Shine to, like, edge this one out. I, feel See, like I just have I, I just have faith that he's gonna make it competitive. I'm not going that far, bro. Go ahead, Titus. Really? Wow. I feel like the theme of this of the K-Shine, people think Kayshawn has been they just don't want to not take Kayshawn to win. It's a lot of nostalgia energy. A lot of hey, you know, it, look, but it, it, that's fine. Energy. That's and that's I okay. It. I get it. That's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's all right. But it's I, easy. It's easy here. It's just. It's been different. Again, Easy's it's last four battles. Different. I want I want to repeat this because I need to keep repeating this to drive this home. He's had yeah. a battle of the night, battle of the night, performance of the night, and battle of the year. All right, like that four yeah. battle stretch is gonna have me pick that battler against anybody all the time. Yeah, it's not yeah. A, it's not so much about a K Shine thing for me, even though K Shine's case is is difficult, but it's more about how good Easy has been. But my bros, yeah, let, let me yeah. let me go ahead and bring. Let me, gonna bring all the bloods in the building. Let me go ahead and spin the block here. Some more uh, people on the roulette. Yeah. They I got mean, it's in LA, so he might. Yeah, he might yeah, bring some. Right, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, Whirlin, bro. Uh, thanks for tapping in, bro. As always, man. Much love. My bro. Absolutely. And, and, and absolutely. Doug, and, and Doug, man, make sure you spin the block when that statement's not made. All right. No, I'm going to stand on a statement, and then when we come back <laughs> after it, I'm going to say whether or not I'm all right or wrong. That's all. Salute. Salute, bro. Appreciate you for Salute. tapping in. All right, man. Jeremiah, one of our day ones as well. You're not new to this. Uh, you're true to this. And I know you are not shy of making your battle rap opinion polarizing, so I'm ready to hear what you think about K-Shine versus Easy the Block Captain. The oh, you got Perkins up here. Oh, Peace, God. Peace, God. First, first and, and foremost, Cuba Hood. Head. Cuba Hood. <laughs> what up, what up, uh, first and foremost, Cuba Hood, Cuba Hood, whole gang there. Um, I got easy two one on an edge. I feel like K Shine takes uh Bad Rap way too close to heart and he overthinks a lot of things. And all he needs to do is just rap, I'm gonna be honest. He he do too much trying to talk about Oh, this is the narrative. Nobody really cares, bro. All you do, all you need to do is rap. Be the K-Shine we know you can be. Perform. Stop trying to do a lot of intricate schemes and all that. That's not you, bro. That's not you. Rap. Be the K-Shine we always know you can be. And you may come out with a W, but for right now, I got easy to one because easy is eight on the app. Mm. Easy has been on a run. Easy has been consistent. Mm. Easy gives us what Easy brings every time. Trap talk. That's what we like to hear. The the pain talk. That's what we like to hear. The angles. The 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 the, the subtle punches. That's what we like to hear from Easy. He brings it every time. But Sean hasn't been bringing what we want as of late. He did go on good on the two on two. He lost against Chilla, lost against Hollow, but I'm hoping he can, you know, be back the K Shine that we want to see in the K Shine that we love. Hey, you know what? That was that was well that was well eloquent, Titus. I have I have nothing to say. Yeah, it made it made a lot of sense. For once, right? Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You must ate some lunch. You got the food. You not hungry? Nah, I ain't, I, I ain't I ain't said I ain't said no blasphemies today. You know, I could say something, but you know. <laughs> I, I, I can say the fact that I got beat beat at three over clips, but that's a whole other story. That that is a oh, whole, that is a whole other story. And Perkins, don't go nowhere, yeah. man. We're gonna we want to bring up one of our favorite Caucasians, permanent guest, is now a speaker. You have the role. 
permanent guest, set it off, man. Kayshawn versus Easy the Black Captain. First of all, I'm not Caucasian. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian American, sir. You need to chill out on that. Um, that? Before I get started with my opinion, yeah, go ahead. I said some controversial stuff last week. Did you I ever? I want to take this time to apologize to absolutely nobody. I was right. <laughs> Anyway, you guys kind of a great decision. <laughs> Let's talk about this. All right. Easy versus Mr. NWX Shell Gas Station, K Shine. Oh, Jesus. The problem with K Shine lately is the new RL era came in. They started talking, and people realized that K Shine doesn't say anything when he raps. Okay? I'm just being real. Uh oh. He's the, he's the new surf. Uh-oh. You just get the audience Whoa, hyped. Oh, my God. Get them excited. You say nothing. Hey, go ahead and watch your mouth on surf, dog. Watch your mouth on surf. I'm sure the way we're just here. Yeah. All right, I got you. My, my bad. A war three o surf. Anyway, what I want to get to the <laughs> point is that EZ does not need an opponent to have a certain angle. He doesn't need them to have a certain background of them. He's going to go up there and talk about himself in his real life. And just like Jeremiah said, people resonate with that, that hood talk, that trap talk. And so I have easy 3 clear over k Shine. Ty, there's a lot to unpack there. I'll let you set it off, man. I'm sorry, I stopped listening when you said when you uh, slandered, sir. I'm not going to say anything you said after that. What did you say after you slandered, sir? I'm sorry. He said he got easy 3 over... Okay, Sean. I don't know if you heard that, bro. Okay, okay. I mean, he, I feel like he's going to win the battle. 3-0's not, I mean, it, it sounds extreme, and it kind of is, but it's kind of not at the same time. Because I do feel like Easy can win the battle clearly and possibly gets three rounds. I don't feel like the, the K-Sean gas station thing is really valid, um, personally. So I think it's going to be fun, but, you know, I hear you. I hear you. I, mean, I, I hear you, but I don't hear you. Who said easy 3-0, respectfully? Why are people scared to give 3 O's out anymore? We can't be giving petty rounds to people and saying, oh, 2-1 either way. Hold on, 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 hold on. Moni came in hot. Moni came in hot. Let me at least introduce Moni. Let me Let me at least introduce Moni. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Moni. Main event Moni will be battling real soon. Uh, she's a great, phenomenal writer. Tune in to her. I love her opinions. And she As came here to defend. She came here to defend Kayshawn's honor, it seems, right? Moni, what do you have to say? Go ahead. You, you, you're good what's to go. What's up, y'all? What's up? Y'all already know main event Moni. Y'all already know the vibes. What's good? What's happening? <laughs> Yo, y'all really say it. Y'all really think Shine going to get 3-0? Like, what? That's, what, what, that's, what, that's, what the man, that's what the man said. Yeah, that's his opinion. Shine down 30 twice this year already. It's not outlandish. By who? Chilla Jones and Hollow Design. What you mean? Who? Oh, okay. This year. I don't know about the Chilla. He got thirty. Yes, he absolutely did. I don't know about the Hollow battle. He won the third round. I stop. I honestly, bro, I never want to watch it again. I was in the building for it. I've never decided to watch it. I said, I feel like time on the round. I'm never gonna watch this battle again. That's really how I left feeling. I do agree with that. All right, so I got a question for y'all. So are we going off of what k Shine has done like within his last performances, or are we going off what we know k Shine to be? We're going off what Easy does. I'm going off, I'm going off what Easy does. Shine's past year has not – Shine hasn't had a great battle since Chess. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he got after chess? E-R, yeah, right? you're, after chess? Yeah, I'm yeah. Before. Yeah, you're, after, you're right. E-R, that's, but, last, but that's, 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 that's over a year ago. That's, that's over a year ago, Titus. Yeah, like those are the last great case times we've seen. We've seen a great easy every time he's been on stage since Open Madness, basically. Like it's just it, the, the timing just feels off for a good case on for a big case on win. It just feels off for this matchup for Sean. Like he's he fighting uphill battles. I mean, so do we just like forget, just like erase what K Sean has done? Or like that's the thing we're not even racing it. It's just it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. Go ahead. Go, no, I was gonna say I don't think I can see racing. Like I think a year is a solid sample size for me to be concerned. Go ahead, permanent guess. No, but when we talk about battles, we cannot bring up somebody's aura 
and talk about, okay, they did this in 2016, 2017, all the years, so are we going to forget what they did about right now? It's a meritocracy like the NFL. What have you done lately, and who's your opponent? And I'm not saying K-Shine is horrible. By any means, he's not. I'm saying his opponent right now doesn't have anything you can beat him on because he's going in there. What can you say to Easy? And then what, he, he's just going to talk through you. He's going to talk about his own life and talk about his struggles. People are going to talk Okay, so what's, what's Easy going to say to Kayshawn? What, what effective approach does he have against him? He's just going to throw punches about how he had to have holes in his wall. He's going to throw punches about how he used to struggle being in jail. And people well, are going to say that, that to anybody, though. That's the point. Gonna... That's the point. That, he can say that to anybody. He doesn't need to come up with a bright angle for any story. I mean, so. <laughs> The, the beauty of Easy Styles is that it's not four rounds of angles. It's a mix of I'm gonna angle you for a few bars. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna punch for a few bars. I can get back to him. He doesn't need a whole round of angle on shot. He can throw in a bunch of stuff shot of, of, that we've seen from Shine's history and throw it into a few bars and make them hit. And I was just uh, go ahead, go ahead, Bert. I said I was just about to say what you said. Like Easy Style is so perfect because. He doesn't stay. He doesn't harp on one thing too long. It's like he goes from here, he goes from here, he goes from here, and he he attacks from all angles. Even though right. it may not it may not seem that way because he's more he's not an intricate person with the scheme and an angle, but like he hits every point in every battle. Right, right, and that's. That's the thing, right? Like, we still got the, like Francis said earlier, you got the fresh NWX leaving angle. That's at least, like, three good bars right there. NWX breaking up. That's, like, three, that's about three bars that might hit. <laughs> Yo, that somebody can't really take that, and that's a, that's worth a round. That's worth a round. Like, it, yeah. it's, it's just, like you said, Titus, the timing. The timing of everything. Easy has the best momentum that anybody could have, while Kayshawn probably has the worst momentum that anybody could want to have, and they're both colliding at that time period. Like, I'm going to pick Easy right now. It doesn't matter who is in front of him. That's just how I feel because of what I've seen. And what Shine has been showing me lately doesn't give me the confidence to pick him, especially opposed to somebody like Easy that gives me all the confidence in the world to pick him. I think that's like simple math. Right. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I'm at with it. That's, that's why I'm at with it. Yeah. Moni, don't go. Moni, don't, don't go. But saying 3-0, I think that's... It that just sounds crazy. Long. It sounds crazy. It, it sounds, it sounds real, crazy until it happens, it man. A, it is a possibility, right. <laughs> it sounds it crazy until it happens. Do you, do you really think Shine's not going to get a single round against Easy? Or that's what we doing? This, but, but Moni, I, I, this is what I'm telling you. Yeah. Some of these predictions sound crazy in real time until it happens. Pe there were people in the world like us that didn't think Reed could beat Rum, and then it happened. You know what I mean? These <laughs> these things sound crazy in the moment until it happens. And for example, like look what it took. Look at the type of performance Chess had to have for the in the easy battle for that battle to be as classic as it was. Like they had to be a one hundred percent highest level for both of them for that battle to be as good as it was. I haven't seen Shine hit a level like that in a very long time. That it that it took to get rounds off easy. Hold, hold on, real quick. Let's let's uh let's let's move the rule late real quick. So let me get my man Elijah straight up here. Permanent guest, thank you for tapping in, bro. You know, we, we love when you... Hey, let me say real quick, I'm still upset you call me Caucasian, so I am a lawyer. Expect a lawsuit in the mail pretty soon for defamation, all right? Send that. Hey, who your favorite bad rap? Who your favorite bad rap? Just for, just, all right, um, take it easy, y'all. Have, have a good one. Have a good one. All right, y'all, I'll be getting sued, so when y'all no longer see the podcast going, y'all know why. And Perkins, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. You know you're day one of ours. <laughs> for sure. I have one question. Does it matter about the, the um, audience... Capacity, like, doesn't matter if it's it, it, 100 I, people I, I, or 400 people. Like that. I, I want to say it helps shine, but, like, easy show me that he's good in any setting, so I don't know. Right. So. Y'all sleeping on shine, that's all I'm going to say. I appreciate y'all. I'm about to speak. I'm about to go down. Salute, bro. Salute. All right, man. Elijah hey, straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You all right on the building. The most One of the most yeah, gangster Christians you've ever seen. Providence. Yeah, you know the vibes, bro. Elijah, what's, what's the word, bro? Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm just listening in, and I feel like people are sleeping on Shy. Like, I understand his um his past few battles ain't been the greatest, but at the same time, you got to recognize what Shy has done. Like, you got runs where he arguably didn't lose a, a round for, for years. Like, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about K-Shine, and then the battles that he had where you feel like he was iffy, 
you talking about like legends in the game, basically. You talking about Pat Stay. You talking about Killer Jones and 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 Hollow the Don. We're not talking about you talking about elite elite talent, like the type of things that'll make you try to change your style for that battle. That'll make you rethink what you do. Like Easy's not a legend like that. You know what I'm saying? So like. I hear what y'all saying, like, with the recency bias is kind of crazy to me. But here's the thing. Is a year worth of bad performances really recency bias? Like, it's no, a- but y'all call, y'all call it a year versus bad of bad performances when in, in reality is three battles. Like, y'all just, y'all stretching it over a year. That could have easily been three months. It could have easily been six months. Like, y'all just saying a year to emphasize the fact that it seems worse than it is. It's three battles. Look, a ba- guys, guys like Shine, guys like Shine in his in his elite tier don't come outside that frequent. They're coming outside two to four times a year. So those two to four what? battles Shine for them. Got, Shine got seventy plus battles. He wanted a more frequent legends out. No, you're not wrong. But he's only ba- he only battled four That's times not, last year. So what I'm saying about, is when we're not talking about a, a Shine who now he Shine has those battles. He got two on twos off of. Off of the URL, he he bat like he battles like Sean is, Sean is active. No, you're 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 hundred percent right. He's battled four times the last year, so that's why I'm saying like that one year, which is last five year, times. over the last twelve At months. I I think it's fair enough to say like yo that I haven't seen a good performance in a year. I can say that. Yeah, but when do you when do you like when do you start to say like Sean is like I can't count him out because he's proven himself to be a great battler. Like, I understand the last year, but when, like, come on, bro, if I have three bad games and I'm Steph Curry, you're not going to act like I can't pull up on game four or game five and smoke you. It's still k Sean. That's a good point. But some people will definitely act that way. Tyus, how do you feel about Elijah's? Uh... I mean, I get it, but this is also an 82-game season. Like, with Steph, you got 82 games. Like, this is a game-by-game basis, and every game is a new chance to set a new story for yourself. And Sean, the story on Sean for the past year has not been a good one. Like, in this past, the battles have not been a good one. It's just it hasn't been a good been story. I'm, I'm not doubting that, yeah. but, like, I understand it's, a, it's an 82-game season. I understand all that. Now, Sean, I feel like, personally, I didn't love his performance versus Patch Day. I thought it was right. weird. His Chilla Jones performance, I felt like he went outside of who Sean is and tried to match wits with Chilla Jones. It caused to be a bad performance. I right. feel like his Hollow the Dom performance had too much history behind, like in terms of who he's battling. This is a legend from from this era. Like, and he tried to he tried to go in a bag that wasn't necessarily right for that battle. I just feel like he took the wrong approach in a few of these battles, rather than him just being outright trash. Like, like the shine we know and love, it just wasn't working. Like, it wasn't that situation. Mm. Like to me, a a, a easy battle. Like, an easy-to-block captain battle is the perfect battle, in my opinion, for Sean to get right back into his pocket because it's no history. It's no, I don't have to go in here and be a pin. I can go in there and be Sean and have this battle with easy-to-block captain. That's the way I look at it. Mm. But can what Sean's been be easy? Like, is that, a, is that really, is that style enough for easy? What are we talking about? Shine with years without losing a round to niggas. That's, I, I don't, I'm not one of those people that believe that, that ever believe that. Yo, but yo, even if you don't believe it, the fact that you can argue it is crazy because you can't even argue that with other people. The fact that yeah, you that's... can begin to argue it is wild. Now you're, no, like you're hitting, you're hitting all the right points and I do agree that like, it does feel like K-Shine's getting slept on or like they're like, you're, like I don't feel like we're erasing what his ceiling is or what he's done. I'm just looking at where he's at currently and where Easy's at currently, and they're both like on the complete opposite trajectories. So that's why I feel like, yo, like it doesn't matter who Easy would be battling. I would be picking Easy to win regardless. You know what I mean? Right. Like you Shine's can. A di- Shine's a dangerous battle. Like we talking about the the same Easy that that I mean the same chess that had a classic with Easy is the same chess that Sean walked not too long ago. He but that's not the chess. same Sean we've seen either. But I'm saying that's that not too long ago, bro. And that's a that easy a chess is more more close to who easy is in, in far like as far as stature goes, mm. it's closer to chess than than the rest of the legends. Facts. Like the way that he battled chess, I'm expecting him to approach easy more like that than I would for him a hollow or a chiller. 
No, this, 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 this is a great argument. Your opponent this. means everything. Like, battling Chilla Jones, the pen of battle rap, will make you try to write differently. Okay, on that chest battle, I want to talk, on the chest battle, right? I yeah. think the best battle in that, for me personally, was the second round when he angled chest the whole round about Chess's entire career. And his failures and him blaming other people for his, his, his own mess ups, right? Mm-hmm. There's not really an angle like that for easy to try to pull from. Yo, there's always an angle. Especially so when you study. Like Yo, if you, like, you got, first of all, you got to study opponents to come up with angles. Like, we're not going to see all the angles in the world. If you go and watch somebody's career, like, easy been around for a dumb long. If somebody wants to execute that, like, why are you just popping now type angle, you can, like, like, Shine can do that. Anybody can do that. Yo. But we're uh, trying to know why Easy right. Like, and we know he's history, though. Easy, easy got locked when he was supposed to have his run. Yo, I, under, I understand what you're you know saying, what but you can right. always you can always present it a certain way. You can always okay. do that. That's fair. This is, this is by far the best K-Shine argument I've heard all day. So everybody that pick is. K-Shine. Make sure y'all steal from Elijah's points and takes because this, this is... Yo, and I guarantee you... Either the block captain is not thinking like none of y'all right now. He's looking for the shine that he knows can pop up, and he's not going to be sleeping on him. Of course. Because if I'm battling okay. K-Shine, personally, I'm not thinking like none of y'all. I'm thinking this nigga can come in here and smoke me because it's K-Shine. I don't care what he did for three battles. It's K-Shine. The thing is, though, Easy is insane enough to know that the best K-Shine could show up, and I can still beat that. Like, that's how he's probably wired right now. Because the way he performed against Rex, like, his individual performance for Rex was, like, one of the best performances I've Lord. seen this year. And that's Rex. And, like, Lord, and it's like, hold on. Like, just in case Rex comes any form of vintage, I'm bringing this level performance. And that's Rex. That's Rex, though. You got to show up. You got to show up for Rex. In my opinion, you got to. It's yeah. Rex. Like, you know what I mean? I've like, seen a lot of people not show up for him. <laughs> Chet's history was nasty. But when he showed up against Easy, it's Chet. His history was disgusting. Like who, like, who knew when Chess was going to turn around and beat Chess again? But it happened. Now, you're right. You're right. Don't, don't go nowhere, Elijah. I want to bring in some of the, uh, the callers. Go ahead, Malcolm. Uh, I got you as a speaker here. What's your thoughts on K-Shine okay. versus Easy? The dialogue has uh, gotten more interesting. Me and you, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, so prior to Elijah's point, I, too, have Shine to one. Um, I look at it from this perspective. Usually when a battler has such a classic performance, there's usually a drop off the battle after. Um, I look at Tay Rock when he battled Hollow, he had a debatable with goods and then he kinda went on a losing streak. I look at Nitty when he battled Iron, then he lost to John John right after that, had a debatable with Surf. Um, so going off of that type of like logistic, I can see like easy having a good performance but it not being well enough for a shine that's been kinda well rested. So that's one thing I look at. And another thing that I look at is the fact that Easy has battled a Rex who, you know what I'm saying, like he kind of, he kind of like surpassed our expectations. So it makes the battle look closer than what it was. And obviously like he overpowered him on camera. Um, he battled a T-Top who in that particular time period was kind of having his own kind of slump, which he still had a good performance uh, against great, he did as well too. It was a, good, it was a really good uh, T-Top. Yeah. And then he battled a Chess who, Chess was on an upward incline because he battled Loso, he battled Kid Chaos or whatever. And they pretty much reached their peak at the same time of that battle. Um, but now I'm thinking he's going against like a, this is a trap game for Easy. I don't know if he knows, he probably does know, but uh, I, I still don't think it changed the fact that this is a trap game for Easy. Like he's literally battling somebody who general consensus has lost in back to back. And on top of that, like I'm pretty sure Sean has in his mind, the top of the year I lost to Chiller on the volume. And maybe this is my time to circle the block and be easy on the volume. So I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really see, I don't really see Easy clearly beating Shine. Like especially in a situation where um, Easy's just coming off of a chess battle that's a guaranteed classic or is a solidified classic. So. Hey, you know what? I respect that. I respect that, Malcolm. Don't go nowhere. I got also got uh, Justin here, Battle Rap Parliament in the building. Hey, hey, yo, the last two, Elijah and Malcolm, really brought the the good Shine arguments for the day. Yes, they did. This, these are the best Shine arguments I've heard all afternoon. They definitely are. Will we will, 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 will we get a third shine pick here between Justin? Let's find out. What's the word, Justin? Press, you know the answer to that, man. You know the answer to that, man. Yo, one of the most hilarious things to me is like this turn. This 
I never subscribed to this mystical three-year winning streak that he oh, was supposedly on. I had him losing to Nady. I had him losing to Av. I had him losing to Tayrock. I had him losing to Danny Myers. Me personally, not consensus, me personally. But I think when, when we talk about this battle, we got to evaluate three things, right? So one, momentum. K shines on a three-battle streak where we're like, eh. And Easy's on a four-battle streak where we're like, whoa, right? Already K shines on the downhill. Two, environment. 300 in the room. K shines to do well with that. But three... So I think Elijah Straight kind of hinted too was that stylistically, K Shine can just be K Shine in this battle. When he went against Pat Stay, he was trying to be humorous. That's not his strong point. When he battled Chilla Jones, he tried to be a super pensman or all these schemes. Not his strong point. Okay. When he battled Hollow, I don't know what the fuck he did. I seen that battle once. I never want to see it again. But we, I know I ain't like that shit. So against Easy, <laughs> he can stay K Shine. With that being said, I don't think K Shine's enough, bro. K Shine's pen has not elevated, even in this new era where we see everyone trying to be a little bit more intricate. K Shine has kind of stayed the same, except for the Chilla Jones battle. And with the Chilla Jones battle, it wasn't necessarily impressive either. So, with that being said, I got easy. 2 1, clear. But if this was a traditional small room, a traditional smack volume, I think this would have been a 30. That. Was a motherfucking take right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring in the gang, Ty Ty gang. I know her time is limited, so I want to get her to chime in real quick before we respond to Justin. Ty Ty, what's the word? What's the word, family? Hey, everybody. So I've been listening. I'm working, so I only got a couple minutes, but um, I feel like a lot of people are thinking that it's disrespectful. Back towards Kayshawn, where it's not. Kayshawn is solidified. Kayshawn could continuously lose like Ars been losing and still get the respect that he deserves because he's put in that work. But we also got to be realistic about what's going on. Um, I will say this right now. If Easy would have got murder move and clearly be him on this value, I would have him over Geechee for champion of the year. So let me just start there. He has put in so much work this year, starting with the top tier disc and just getting the battle rap community, male and female lit. Like, I mean, even Yoshi G was in the chat. Like, she was on a top tier disc going hard. Like, he has really fueled the culture this year. He ain't just fueling the culture. When he go to battles, he go to battle. He show up and he show the fuck out mm. every time he hit the stage. So for me, when you, when, you, when you look at his year, you look at who he's battled, battle of the night, battle of the night, battle of the year. Like, it's no contest. I fuck with Sean. I've been a day one fan of Sean for a long time. I go to bat for Sean when they say he's just a performer. He don't have bars. I go to bat for him. But I do have easy winning this. 2-1 or gentleman's 30. I don't think it's anything that Sean can say or do with him. I don't care about his history. I don't care about all the years people say he didn't lose a round. He fucking lost rounds because he clearly lost battles. I never subscribed to what people call a narrative. That wasn't a narrative. That was just a flat-out lie. He was easily <laughs> losing rounds and battles. She is cooking. Simultaneously. So... Well, we want to say that to say, well, this is why he's going to be easy. Y'all, uh, let it go. Easy. 2-1, clear, possible gentleman's 30. Bam, 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 bam. And y'all can go be with your grandma. I got to go back to work. <laughs> uh, that, yo, Elijah, man, she came in and dropped some bombs and left. Though. I didn't appreciate how she left. She didn't get a chance to let you rebuttal. No, but I'm still here, though. I can hear you. Go ahead, Elijah. You know, I respect your opinion always, baby. Oh yes, love. You already know that. Now I respect. I respect the. Um, I really respect the. Um, the easy. Um, like what people see in easy right now. You know, what I mean, easy is on fire. He's doing his thing. Um, and he's to me his 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 greatest attribute right now is just effectiveness. I don't think it's necessarily um, like a battle rap attribute where he's just crazy bar heavy or scheme heavy or he's rapping just better than everybody. He's just hitting like the heart of everyone right now. He just it's real talk. You know what I'm saying? He's just really, really effective. The thing about effectiveness this though is that it don't if you're banking on that, it doesn't all like it's hit and miss sometimes. But like, he's been on a run 
but there could be a time where we're just not feeling what you're saying. It could get old, you know what I mean, and get stale, like all of that, especially when it's really not skill-based. Like, he's not the best puncher in the world, the best rapper in the world, like any of that, you know what I'm saying? But he knows what to say right now. It's, it's, it's fire, no disrespect or anything like that. That being said, I think even on a skill level, Shine, like, has a few of those things over easy. Like, does anybody feel like he's a better writer than him, a better puncher than him, a better schemer, rapper, like, any of those things? Uh, nah, I def- mean, nah, 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 I, I say no. I guess it depends on how you, what you look for in writers, right? Because, like, I like, what, I like what Evie does a little more than Shine's rapid punching, personally. That's a preference thing. It's not like a knock on Sean's writing ability. It's just that I like the way he does. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? He punch and talk to a nigga. I like that. Nah, you know I, 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 I think so that, Sean, I think Sean checks more categories. With, with effectiveness. It's like it's yeah. it's really just you you like you feel what he's saying type of thing. It's not necessarily a skill set. It's just it's really the battle element of battle rap. It's it's just knowing how to be effective. You know what I'm saying? That is risky because there's no science to it. It's just. But I think I think you don't need a science to being a real ass motherfucker and real motherfuckers relating to that. I know what you I hear what you're saying, but it's, at the end of the day, it's still a craft to it. So it's like sometimes you can be the real like we all listen to people who we feel like are some of the realest niggas in the game. They they have battles where it's like I'm not feeling what this nigga's talking about at all. Okay. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let, 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 let me hold on, hold on. Let me let me let Justin respond, and then I'll, I'll let Ben uh, jump in here a second. Salute to my Elijah, man Ben Swayze. Go ahead, go I ahead. actually think ahead, that um, Easy has a higher battle rap IQ than K. Shine, and what I mean by that is when K. Shine gets in specific matchups, and if you evaluate his interviews and the battles, he can overthink. He just he, he feels like he has to do something different with in matchups, and that's a flaw that I can't ignore. Another thing, I feel like Easy the Block is actually a better writer than K Shine. And when we talk about effectiveness, that's the name of the game. Getting mm-hmm. more with less. And I think K Shine I think hold on. I think K Shine on his downhill slope, he's not gonna get that extra love that star power sometimes allows you to have, right? His punches are gonna be evaluated a little bit differently. Then it was evaluating when he was on this supposed three, four, five, six, seven, a hundred battle win streak that you guys have to give him. Yo, let me mute everybody for a second because this conversation is hot. This is some good dialogue, and I'm appreciating all these perspectives. But I want to get my man Ben Swayze, salute to New Era, chime in on here because I know he's from Harlem. Let's, let's keep that in mind. So, what's the word, Ben? Why you need to throw out him from Harlem? Like, I always be biased. <laughs> nah, I just got to get a disclaimer before, but so everybody can, you know, just disclaimer. Yo, shout out, shout out to my guy, Elijah Scrape. You know what I'm saying? Scrape. Um, I'm going to keep it dead 100, yo, because I feel like y'all being nice and all that. Yo, I think Easy might get body of the night, yo, low key. Like, I don't know, like, it's something right now in the air with, with Easy. Easy got the glow, yo. He got that Bruce Leroy glow. It really don't matter who's standing in front of him. And the thing with Sean right now is like, yeah, we know what Sean is capable of. You know what Sean could do or whatever. But if you look at like his style, like he needs to revamp himself. It's like he came out on Summer Madness and was like, yeah, this the old Sean with the buzz cut. And I was like, damn, like you need to bring back the new Sean because like this is not really it right now, my dude. Like, I, like Sean needs to revamp his style. Like, that twerk style, I don't really want to say twerk style, but that delivery that he uses is just not hitting like that. And he's, he based a lot of his performances, it seems like, off of the crowd. Like, he was waiting for the crowd to, to, to react and all that, which is something that Easy don't do. He don't really care if the crowd reacting or not. He's going to get through his material and transition really, really well. His transition is perfect. You know what I'm saying? And... Like my boy Fatboy says, say all the time, battle rap is like a, it's like a shit talking contest. I'm like, the two, two, two of the best niggas that talk. Did we lose him? He might be a better schemer, probably a better, you know what I mean, writer. But we've seen this a million times that being all of that don't win you the battle. 
And if Sando get off in that first round, you know how this, these crowds are. They'll start screaming 3-0 in the second round. Like, and that shit might fuck with fans with our confidence if the crowd's really not fucking with his material. Easy, they, we already know they're going to fuck with his shit regardless. So I don't know if we're going to see a sign that, you know what I mean, that's going to really be that crazy enough to to, to make it a, a good battle. I see this being clear. I respectfully, just because it's, you know I mean, it's home, I might give Sean a round, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is a 30 and this is the clearest battle of the night. See, this is why I preference where you're yeah. from, to show people that you're not biased. You see? It worked. Yo, and I look you respect that uh, that take because I really do think this nigga Evie might just have the glow. Like, it might be that simple. Like, it might just come down to that. Like, it's just this nigga's lit right now. It's his time, and ain't nothing you can do. I respect that. But Yo. as far as, like, the talent conversation, like, I don't feel like it's, it's worlds away. Like, people are kind of acting like Shine just can't see this nigga because of whatever. But it might just be the nigga's time to, this, like, to violate everybody he's standing in front of. No, I, I get it, too. Like, I, I super, super, super respect that. Like, like that people, they, they love Sean. They want to see Sean go crazy. But, bro, like, easy. The shit he be saying, like, my style, like, punching. I, my style, like, fighting. I punch and talk to niggas. Like, little stuff like that be hitting. It just hard. resonates. It resonates. Like, I don't know. Like, I really do hope that. I think, honestly, I think Sean shouldn't have took this battle. I think he should have took a little bit of time off. You know what I mean? Let the, let the fans miss him a little bit. So what if Sean win, though? What happens? Um, then, as long, I want to see how first. I want to see how he's going to win. And if he wins, then we're going to end up seeing Good versus Easy. Because that's all Good was waiting for. He <laughs> waiting for somebody to... <laughs> it's really fast, though. He waiting for somebody to smoke this nigga from both sides. Yo, real Where's quick, real right? quick, Where's let's. I gotta wait. We're gonna bring in Q real quick before Q chimes in. Uh, to Elijah's point, like when you say uh, it, might, it might be just as simple as he has the glow. Every battle rapper kind of had like a little bit of a, like a stretch in their career, especially like like early, like when they really break through. They just there's just no blueprint on how to beat them until the blueprint is like finally created. And I feel like right now there isn't a blueprint out on easy, and somebody's going to eventually create it. I just don't know if Shine is gonna be the one to do so. It's gonna be certain next year. Let's continue. All right, Q. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead and yeah. unmute yourself. You got the speaker roll. K. Shine and Easy, and all the interesting dialogue that we've heard today. What's your thoughts? You hear, you hear me all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you, bro. All right. So, Titus and friends, y'all know like perfectly well. I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not in the camp of K. Shine went sixty rounds and oh, in the, in the last like three or four years or whatever. Y'all know I'm not right. in that camp. But at the right. same time, I see this situation and. Uh, someone brought up a good point earlier that K Shine does have a tendency to overthink. And I'm going to agree with Elijah straight here that I feel like there's a situation where K Shine doesn't have to overthink. Like, I go back and I watch that volume battle with Chilla, and I don't know if anyone's watched it recently, but Chilla wins. It's a clear win for Chilla, but K Shine's fire in that battle. He does some things that maybe he shouldn't have done, does some things that maybe were in his wheelhouse, but K Shine has some dope shit in that battle. His first round is crazy. The second round is dope in that battle. And. Yeah, the hollow one was a fuck up. He wins. He wins the past day battle, and that's just a weird battle overall, and no one really cares about that. But in a situation where K Shine doesn't have to think, where K Shine doesn't have to try to out whatever somebody, or try to show, oh, I'm funny, or I'm witty, and I can do this and that, when he doesn't have to try to match a hollow or a past day or whatever, and he go out there and he can just bark, talk, punchline, do whatever, just like every other battle rap, battle rapper does. This is K Shine's wheelhouse. And, like I said, I'm not someone that traditionally picks K. Shiren when it comes to these battles. I have him losing the Rock the second time. I have him losing the Nitty, all that stuff. I got K. Shine here. I know that Easy got the glow. I know that he has all that stuff going for him. But I think that people are definitely undervaluing that this is what K. Shine should be doing. He goes up there, battles these punchline, gun, gun line heavy dudes, and he can match them. The chain punching, the delivery, the aggression – and the volume, traditionally, K. Sharon has been a pretty good battler if you go through the Danny Myers, um, Gichigati. And like, he has some iffy ones, like you said, the Shilla Jones and Pass Day. But without having to overthink too much, I, I think I got K. Sharon here. I like the zag. I like the zag. That's, that's, there's some level headed K. Sharon takes, man. I like this. Titus? Dude, I get K. Sharon takes. They get K. Sharon takes. It's just. 
I don't think crunches can be easy. I don't. I, I don't. I don't oh. think crunches can be easy. That's my main concern. I don't think a punchline can just be easy. What's the word, Justin? And, and I know... But right, Justin. No respectfully, respectfully, I got a question. Yeah. What do What do y'all think? How do y'all think Sean is gonna be easy? Like, what do y'all think he's gonna say that's gonna be like, like, what What can he possibly say directed at easy that that makes y'all believe that he's gonna win? I want to know. Yeah, whoever wants to uh, go first, yeah, go ahead. I mean, sometimes a battle rap is as simple as, like, what just hits that day. You know, you can never really predict right. how the crowd is going to react or how the, how the atmosphere and the room are going to take to something. And Easy has that glow. I think we can all agree that Easy has the glow. Easy is right. the guy right now when it comes to battle rap other than Geechee. And, you know, like, some of this shit is a coin toss. And I'm hearing that this volume is, like, 400 people, 500 people, like, more like Born Legacy size than it comes to typically being, like, a, what we think about as a volume. But I can't understand how much I hate that. By the way, yeah, that's yeah, that's just weird. But I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like K Shine might just have this down momentum, and you raise and people have raised some good points that because K Shine has had this low, like this uh, slow momentum that he's on this slump, that maybe the crowd is gonna uh, analyze his punchlines, analyze his setups, and everything a little bit differently. He's not gonna get that same reaction that he might have gotten versus DG. But what if he does? And like, I just I just feel like that stuff is possible for him. Yo, go ahead, Justin. So I, I got a quick question, right? Yep. Do you guys consider battle rap IQ an attribute? I think it depends who you're asking, but I would love to hear the, the battle rapper on the panel has to say. Right. I think that you can. I just wanna if I, if I can answer that. What's up, everyone? Firstly, uh, go go. For, from my side, I think you can. It, it is like something you can mention, but we, we, if you really want to speak about it, there are there are details. We can go into more specifics, like about what it is. And I think that for me, yeah. it comes down to your your how you cater for the crowd. Uh, I think uh, even your your pauses after like your your punches, stuff like that, for me is a big part of it. Uh, uh, yeah, we can we can we can get into details. I think it's a category of things that we speak about. Um, the, the reason I asked that question is easy to block. I, I, I'm not the biggest easy to block captain fan. Uh, I do prefer pens, but I have to admit that easy to block probably among the most right now. And the reason I'm talking about rap IQ is that I just can't see a way that easy to block does not know what to do in this battle. And I can see a way that K-Sign can mess this up. You know, when K-Sign, when, when they announced K-Sign versus the Hall of the Dawn on a stage, I'm thinking, Hollow's coming off a rum nitty performance that was just an okay battle. People are giving Hollow the win, but we know what happens when nitty does somewhat in the same realm for kind of giving up battle. But when it was on the fucking stage and K-Sign could not get the crowd on his side, and I've seen so many times K-Shine get hit the crowd on his side. I'm like, he's not saying a thing that's fire to me personally. You see in the block captain going to K-Shine direct. Yeah, it's going to be direct. Half the battle. All right. I, that was very difficult to make out, but I think I was pretty much getting what he was trying to get at. I'm going to just drop you off the speaker because uh, you can come back on. Fix his microphone because it was all choppy. What's up, Elijah? No, I was just saying his connection dirtied him real quick, but his connection I definitely dirtied him. I ain't mad at it though. Q, thank you for tapping in, Q. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you. You know, you the bro. Um, I'm gonna just keep you up here muted for a second. I want to get Khan chime in and then we'll get, yeah. we'll take one more call and we'll, we'll we'll call it an afternoon. Go ahead, Khan. What's the word, man? K Sean versus Easy. Uh, I think there's there's two very separate discussions we need to have. Um, I think that everything about the battle IQ and, 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 and all of that and how prepared Easy um, will be, I agree with. But, like, people saying that K-Shine, like, won't do well, I think that's crazy. That's crazy talk. This like, he, he might still lose the battle, but, like, to say that this guy is going to get killed, I think that's, that's, that's crazy. That's, uh, we need to take a step back and, like, uh, he, like, he, he, he 30 chess and... 
Niggas wouldn't have given him a chance there, pen wise, etc. Like he can also elevate. Like he's able to perform in in, in in like difficult circumstances. I don't know why people are making it sound like this guy's going there like a lamb to the slaughter. That, that's crazy talk. But I but I do agree. Yeah, that easy easy battle IQ is very high, and I think it's a. Uh, it's not. It's not even just a battle IQ. He gives off an aura that reminds me a lot of Geechee, where you just you don't even know h- how you're gonna like break through that armor. You know what's gonna affect the sky and make me win the battle. Um, so yeah, I think Easy might win, but like shit, yeah, Keishan can also do all right and you know get his stock back up after this battle. I think we so, we shouldn't dismiss that. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to say this this one thing about Sean. I don't think he gets enough credit for this. Uh, real quick. Is that even as a legend, I feel like he's probably one of the more experimental legends that we have. Like he's not afraid to try new things, and even though it didn't work out for him, he's a he's still he's still a a legend who will innovate. Like he he went in three different battles. They were weird performances, but they were different. Um, and he tried new things. Like some people are scared to do that. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that backfires. Like I feel like I feel like that happened to to rock where he tried to just go in there and, and talk to Mook or whatever. And it wasn't, it wasn't, I'm just going to dumb him to death. It kind of backfired. Rock but then you have that same rock pull up to Tiller Jones and smoke his boots. You know what I mean? So I feel like, um, the battle rap RQ thing, like, I feel like shine knows how to battle as well as anybody else. He's done it for a long time, but he's not afraid to take risk. That's and I have to say, like that can backfire, but if he gets back in his pocket, I feel like he can do that. You know what I'm saying? So I think we gotta show him a little bit more respect for for taking those risks, even if they yeah. didn't work. Out. Yeah, on that point, Eliza, like even before he was on this, he hit his um his run. Like you look at the risk he took. He did the press shot with DNA. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Then he had the thing at some match. We pulled out the the little person, which didn't work. But like it shouldn't take a chance. He's gonna take a chance. Like he's always he been that way. Yeah, it's like it's, it's risky so, to yeah. go in there and try to be funny with Pat Stay. Nick, right. Some niggas will never try to do that. Some niggas will never go in there and try to write with Killer Jones. They're just going to do them and hope they get through, like, stuff like that. Like, I respect it. Yes, that. Yo, um. Providence. Yeah. Providence, man. Salute to you, Elijah. Thanks for tapping in, bro. <laughs> yes, little Elijah. No, salute to y'all. Thanks for having me up here. My man. Um, I guess we got no more callers left, but uh, but Ben, man, um, thanks for tapping in, and I want I want to say to you, Ben, um, you jumped out the window a little bit with saying this might be body of the night, and I think there's a lot of people that would agree with you, but if it, if it turns, oh Ben left, damn, if it turns out the way wow, Ben uh, predicted, like you know, like he might look like a genius, right? He he sounds crazy now, but will he be a genius in two and a half weeks? It's time you gotta sound crazy before the battle happens. That's that way you can sound smart after the battle happens. You can you can talk. Right. I do it every. I do it. Dan, I do it. Danny battles all the time. <laughs> all right, man. Let's, let's get let's get little Reggie in as, uh, as our last speaker. And um, right. Reggie, you already know you gang. Salute to you. Thanks for tapping in. I was just gonna tell uh, Ty this uh, cowboy nation. You know what's up. Hey, look, even good. Hey, little Reggie, what what happened in fantasy this week between you and me, bro? Bro, you know I ain't even. Bro, you know I. First of all, it wasn't even a team I drafted. That's true. You inherited it. That's true. So I really just don't even give a fuck because I'm in two other about NBA leagues. You the GM. You got to make moves to make the team better, bro. Bro, I'm not worried about that, bro. I didn't put up no money, so I'm good. That's true. That's true. He's 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 not all the way invested. He's just he's just there for the ride. But yo, this is I had, I I thought Reggie wanted to say something. He went back down, so I added the fool, and then he came. Nah, uh, me, that's real crazy. Get him out of here. Tata, no, 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 no. I was gonna pull up, but uh, Tata <laughs> and uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Justin said everything I was gonna say. Oh, really? Like as soon as I was about to come, uh, come and uh, talk, they was already uh, saying what I was gonna say. Go, go ahead and echo your sentiments, though. Let let the people know. Yeah, it's all. It's I all mean, fun, so. I, yeah, like I like uh, like Justin that. said, I never thought Kayshawn was undefeated. I I I think uh, Run Nitty beat him. I had Tay Rock beating him. Uh, I don't even think the chess battle was that clear as everybody acted. Oh, uh, shit. Unpopular opinion there, but that's fair. I mean, you know I always got the unpopular opinion. No, I know, I know. That's, 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 I respect it. I respect it. I'm not knocking it. But, uh, Easy, he just had 
three back to back like battle of the night type of battles in case Sean had the worst battle on each card. Damn. Jeez. Is that simple? Like, it's like why do we gotta like be like I think people just trying to be nice and like eyes oh, K Sean, like we know what he can do, but they saying uh is somebody said it was crazy to say that he's gonna get thirty. Yeah, we didn't think he was gonna get thirty, but we literally just watched it happen. Twice right. back to back. So Twice. why is it crazy to, for it to happen if we just saw it? I don't understand that. It makes no sense. Hey uh, I agree with what I'm saying, but I can't let you say that Sean Hollow is worse than Luke Reed, bro. Uh, I, can't, I can't let that. that, I can't let that, that, that no, that battle I actually laughed in. It was funny. It was some funny moments. You know what's wild though, Titus? Hollow and Shine is more dis- is, is more disappointing. Never watch that battle ever. It's more disappointing because you knew Mook and Reed would not be like would not exactly, be exactly. I knew it, exactly. I thought Shine was gonna body Hollow. Yikes. So, I'm not the biggest uh, Sean uh, fan anyway, though, so I might be a little bit biased, but Easy, I don't know how you pick against Easy. He's undefeated on URL. Yo, he he made his point real quick and simple that he had the best performance in every card while Sean's had the worst. And, <laughs> and I felt like Sean had the worst on all three, all on his last three cards he was on besides the two and two. Am I, am Which I, it was a two on two. Am I gotta steal that take and politically yeah. remix it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, real quick, uh, Mr. Temp check in the building, man. One of our peers in media. I, I have a high amount of respect for this brother, uh, Mr. Temp check, uh, man. Sir, I know. What's up, Q? What's good? How everybody doing? Oh shit, the bros. Yes, what's the word? Yeah, you check. Yeah, check the back on the show, man. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Um, so I, I I did a little uh, little preview for this battle on my channel, um, with that ass talk, plug, uh, my brother, plug. Um, so with his his point when it comes to K Shine, K Shine told us before this year his next three opponents would be the toughest he has ever had, and it would push him. And these battles are not, you know, what I'm saying these are not his traditional style battles. So. Did we expect K Shine to go from uh, pretty much thirty and everything from summer after Summer Madness six to Killer Jones um, to just fall off the way he did? No, we didn't. But I do think this is the perfect matchup for K Shine because what what y'all are doing right now are y'all are creating a narrative that oh, Easy boy. to Block is just so insurmountable <laughs> better than insurmountably better than K Shine when at the end of the day. If you give, if we have a surprising good performance by Kayshawn, what is the narrative going to be if you get the same easy? Easy can be amazing, but y'all are looking for Kayshawn to slip up. Look, I was with you till you threw the narrative word out there, and I don't think four a four battle sample size is no longer a narrative. Like Easy has been great his last four battles, Sean has been lackluster his last four. Like that's not a narrative. I think we could all agree, we all agree to that. I feel like a good K-Shine still lose. He can be good. I still think him being good, he's still not better than Easy. I'm talking, it's like, I think but, it's, the style was favoring on Easy side. So, so let me ask yeah. you, does the surprise factor come in? It doesn't because pe- people know what K-Shine can do. It's not really a surprise factor. But it's y'all like, are saying that a lot of people are saying Easy 3-0 clear. No, I'm thinking Gentleman's 30. I think more people think <laughs> Gentleman's 30. Gentleman's 30 isn't bad. You all got gentlemen's thirty against uh, daylight, and that's the best battle of the year. Yeah, you couldn't be good and, and lose in that fashion. That's true. So, so let me ask you this, friend. What's up? You are, uh, what do you prefer, quality or quantity? I prefer quality. So, do you do you have easy to block as champion of the year? I mean, it's a whole different conversation. Like we're talking about a battle oh. as opposed to the ranking. It's not the same if he conversation. Had that battle, he uh, but but uh, I will say the Mook battle, which went, was said by which was which was said by Tata and somebody else earlier, that it had easy had battle Mook. That would have been a champion of the year caliber kind of year. So like that still goes to quality, right? Like. No, 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 guys, come on. But, but, that's, that, but that's a whole different conversation. Let me let me go ahead and mute everybody real quick and introduce the big dog, Big Lou, in the building. He uh, just made. I gave him a speaker roll. He's connecting right now. 
All right, everybody's unmuted. I can go ahead and speak again. I'll let Lou get connected and uh, chime in. All right, there we go. Lou Castro, man, what's the word? Yo, what's the word, yo? What up, Lou? <clears throat> what's going on, man? Hey, shit, man. Big dog in the building. Nah, salute, was... salute to Lou Castro. Salute to main event, Lou Castro, just coming off his traffic headline against Rum Nitty. That'll be dropping soon. So, And everybody go get revenge on all streaming platforms, too. Make sure we plug that as well. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I just, I just wanted to come on and, uh, you know, chime in on this uh, K Shine and Easy battle. I think, I think personally, that's probably gonna be battle of the night for real, for real. Okay, okay. But also, I think, you know, when I like, I hear a lot of talk, you know what I mean, and like one Easy, e you know, Easy part of the, part of the new era. You know what I mean, salute them. But like the way people just got this whole, that Easy going just thirty shine. Like, it's just so crazy how, like, that quick, a net, like, you know what I mean, like, uh, you know, the people could just, like, change their mind about you. Like, you never seen Sean go to, like, level 12. You know what I'm saying? We seen, we seen Easy go to level t 12. We seen Easy do that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, when you just get up there and just be saying niggas is going to get 30, like, when they, like, they haven't been that before, it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, uh, it's it's just crazy to me, like, when that just happens. Like, not even just with Sean, you know what I'm saying? Like, when certain people, you know, when somebody get hot and, like, niggas just be on that, oh, yeah, this nigga going on 30 such and such. Like, people, I just see it as being a great battle, you know what I mean? I don't see nobody really losing that battle specifically, especially in a small room, you know what I mean? Because they both possess different qualities, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sean is a little bit more, like, you know, a little bit more performance-based and, mm -hmm. and heavier on the punches. Easy is more of like a feel, you know what I'm saying? You Like, you kind of get that feel for easy, like when easy rapping, you kind of get a feel, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's also, to me, I kind of look at it like how, how like, you know, as far as the style clash, I look at it how, like, I looked at uh, uh, Chess and Easy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like mm -hmm. I look at it like you, 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 get, you get something from Easy that you want to hear and you get something from Chess that you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just the whole... I don't know, man. Like, maybe maybe that's just me. You know what I mean? And this isn't even coming from a place of me saying it's because Sean, my man, because easy to fake my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, it's just like, I just look at it from, like, I'm trying to look at it from the standpoint of where fans just get this idea that this nigga Sean going to get 30. Like, that's crazy. Now, you know, I, I you have a great breakdown. And the one thing I'll say is it does sound crazy to say Sean to get 30. Especially just because, like, maybe even if he's having a bad year, we know what K-Shine is capable of. So it does sound crazy to say. But there's a lot of predictions that will always sound crazy to say before it happens. We didn't and, think John John was going to get 30, but it happened. And, and, we, uh, uh, we didn't wear Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, everybody. Hold on, hold on. Okay, what about... First off, I don't even think John John got 30. Oh, man. Chaos I don't started. even think John John got 30. Like, that's the crazy part. Like, when niggas are saying John John got, like, it's just that one, all right, it's, it's like you got to think about what like how you look at the battle going into it. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to take all your pre, pre, just like you know your pre ideas of the battle out of it, and go into the battle with a clean slate, thinking of the actual battle because right. each battle don't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just say I lost the Fonz clip, and on the hierarchy of punchers, Rum Nitty stands at the top of the hierarchy as far as punching. You dig what I'm saying? Like, if we're talking about, like, who punches back-to-back, -back, Fonz is in that category of punches. Niggas that say, I lost the Fonz clear. When y'all see the Rum Nitty battle, it's going to be a whole different feel. Like, people go into battles with this pre, like, you know, pre-idea of it because of what you've seen previously, not realizing that just because you lost to this person or just because you beat this I mean, person doesn't mean that you can do that with this person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, if you're talking like that, yeah, anything can happen. Like, anybody can win one day. But we trying to go by the best logical uh, guess. We all guessing at the end of the day. Yeah, but, but the most logical, guess, easy logical with a gentleman's 30 is in, like, disrespectful, though. He's, that, he, that's fake is though. If you think Easy's better than Hollow right now, why wouldn't people think that he could get a gentleman's thirty? But see, this is the thing about this is the, this is this is what I'm trying to explain though. Like niggas just say, "Oh, Hollow wash," but then Hollow go stand in front of Rum Nitty and like give him a debatable. You can't just say that these niggas who 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 put themselves in that position of like you know 
of, of super top tier is just going to get 30. That's just exactly. Fact. And that's why I you say it's just say an educated guess. Like, like even, even with Ice, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're talking about content-wise, like, bro, like, we're looking at the battle with Ice and Av, right? Head Ice and Av. Like, if going into that battle, you say Head Ice and Av, some niggas be saying Head Ice beat Av. That's a fact. Yeah, maybe you know crazy. We don't, we don't, yeah, we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't but, but this is what I'm saying, though. Like, like it's it, like it's people that think Rex be uh, easy, but, but like, of course, there's only people though. that say stuff like that. I'm not saying, but it's it's a it's not just one person. Like it's a couple people that feel that way. You think I'm saying? Like it's mm-hmm. like once you get to that level of you know, like all right, this nigga's a solidified top tier. There's always gonna be a mass amount of people that fuck with this nigga's content. Especially, you know, people who are dedicated fans to this specific person because they already created that level of respect amongst the fans. So once you get into that conversation of, oh, this nigga's gonna get thirty clear, right? It just like it just sounds kind of just. I mean, like, the, one thing, saying, the, the one thing I will say, the one point that made sense though, this is a battle where he doesn't have to think too much. He can just rap, and that's why I might give him one round off of that. I just don't think it's anything he can say that easy. So until I see it, I just got easy winning. But I mean, I get, I, get, I get the idea. I get the idea of saying easy gonna win. I get that. I'm not. I'm not saying that. You know what I mean? Easy doesn't have the capability to beat Sean. I like. I feel like once you get to a certain level, anybody can beat Sean. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Though. Like, that's what I'm saying. Though. Like, once you get to a certain level, anybody can beat beat. It don't matter who the fuck you are. You know what I mean? It don't matter how long you've been here. It don't matter how much you've done. Anybody can beat be beaten once you get to a certain level. Honestly, but. Just saying, like a oh yeah, I, like I hear niggas saying, like I gotta clear thirty. Hey, I just be like, hey. damn, it's like that. <laughs> like, I be like, damn, I be thinking that, I be thinking that to myself. I be thinking that to myself when niggas be saying that shit about me. Like, like you seen me go to that level before. Like, yep, whether you seen me do that for three rounds, whether you like three rounds for me, you seen me go to that level before. You know I, I, mean? I get where you're coming from, Lou. You're you're yeah. saying that it just sounds disrespectful, but listen. We in a disrespectful sport. So the same way the battlers can be disrespectful, so can the, the fans, fans the, the media, no, whoever. But, uh, but this is the thing. This is the thing. We're not just saying it just to say it. We're saying it based off of his recent transactions. And where you just got finished talking about some people think Rex won. Some people think Head Ice won. Well, I have an unpopular opinion myself. I feel like Chess beat Kayshawn the first and third round. I feel like Kayshawn left Earth in the second and talked to that man's soul like a vet should. But that's well, his best saying, performance. Though? That's his last performance that we could even call good or great. He yeah, has had battle of the night, battle of the night, battle of the year, got the oh, whole hard. culture lit. It's just, what the fuck Kayshawn going to say to him? All right, let, every card. All right, let's let Lou Castro respond. I know everybody's gonna try to talk at once, so let Lou respond to Ty, and then we'll keep it going from there. Go ahead, Lou. Yo, I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna be out though. Y'all be easy. Peace, Elijah. Appreciate y'all. All right, all right, yeah. So I just didn't want though everybody speaking at once. Go ahead, Lou. Did we lose him? Am I tripping? No. Ty, Ty, uh, can you hear me? Did we lose everybody? Prince, I can hear, Prince, I can hear you. Okay, I can't, you there? I can't hear Lou. Yeah, I, I, can't. Know, I, was, yeah, I can hear Lou, though. It's Lou was talking, I can hear him. All right, yeah, I thought everybody got because nobody was responding to me for a second. I thought I was yeah. going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need somebody to talk. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let this dead air live. All right, we'll wait till Luke Castle comes back and respond. Look, I'm going to just say this for Luke. A great example for Luke, right? Two things. I'm going to point to his Kid Chaos battle because I don't think Kid Chaos and him, obviously, the same magnitude of shining easy. But statistically, he was the biggest underdog in Ultimate Madness 1, 89% to 11%. And there was a high amount of people that were picking Chaos to beat him. And if you were in the camp of saying, Luke Castro will beat Chaos, you sounded crazy at that time period. So I think when fans do make predictions that sound crazy or disrespectful, it's just a part of the ecosystem of predictions. And you're just going to shoot at the dart and see if it ends up coming to, like, to light. You know what I mean? Because like sometimes right. these crazy predictions come true and then they don't sound so crazy right. anymore they sound crazy in real time but not after the fact go ahead temp yeah, check I, I, again, I, it's, 
it's really the timing of the match, man. It's really about the timing. Easy's been on the rise, Sean's been on decline and meeting at a point where it doesn't feel like on the same playing field right now. That's, right. It's really what it is. Yeah, go ahead, Temp. Really, I want you I want you to go ahead and respond. I know you were had you muted too. Yeah. I'm waiting for Temp check to unmute himself. Oh, yeah. What's up, Walter? No, no, no. I, I just, I just wanted you to continue the dialogue and all that. I wanted you to get in here. Oh no, I. So this is. I feel like this is a perfect battle for Kayshawn. I think his back is up against the against the wall, and there is nothing danger more dangerous than a wounded animal. Right now, Kayshawn is a wounded animal. However, what Damn. also makes Kayshawn just as deadly as he was prior to this three battle loss is a, it's his awareness. He's aware of what everyone is saying, what, what everyone is saying. If you think he doesn't, no, he definitely does. Um, and I think he also has a point to prove because I want to talk about it, but he is a little shaky since NWS broke up, respectfully. It's been a little shaky since NWS broke up. Um, and you, I'm kind of I'm kind of looking at all these NWS battlers and seeing how they're doing, quote-unquote, solo. What do you What do you think about that, France? I just look. This is all. This is. I'm just gonna stand by this, and I want to. I want to put a curtain on this because it's almost time for us to go soon. I am going to pick the sample size that Easy has been doing against anybody. It's not just the K Shine thing. It's what Easy's been doing. That's one. But they're on complete polar opposites right now. So I understand why there's so many people that are relentlessly picking Easy 3-0. But I do think Shine des- deserves his respect because Shine is who he is. He has all the ability to be competitive. This is a style matchup that could be favorable for him, but this is the timing that's most favorable for Easy. So that's where I'm at with it, bro. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let me let me say, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. No, I was, I, no, I agree with you. I think um, for Easy, obviously, would have loved to see him get that murder mook battle, but you're giving him a case sign who arguably is, is on some people's Mount Rushmore. So I think this is a very great battle for him to end the year off with. Hasn't made a wrong move since the Ultimate Madness tournament. From the marketing to the music to the battles themselves to even the way he carries himself and the fact that he's not always he's not readily available to everyone. He's very selective, very surf like in his approach. I think this is going to be a great battle. Go ahead, Titus. Bring us home. Bring us home. Go ahead, Titus. What up? Yeah. Um, Last point I do want to get, I'm going to run a mental state Sean is in right now without getting into too many details. You know what I'm saying? That is a good question to have. And also, one other thing just on the battlefront, Trent, um, we did this, you ran stats earlier, in, I think in January, um, but how important the coin toss might be for this battle for Sean. You know, that's funny, man, because you look at Sean's last couple performances, um, he's been going first, Chilla, uh, yeah. Hollow, right? And in his yeah. battle, in his run, in his three-year run where he didn't lose a round, he went second in all those battles. So I feel like he also kind of struggles to s- snatch back the momentum if he has to set right. a, if he has to set the pace himself. So if he loses the the, the coin toss to easy, like I'm already gonna be like, oh shit, like <laughs> you, you, right. the automatically right. down one zero, like going into the, the first round. <laughs> but. Right. Nah, man. Let, let's uh, let's wrap it up from here, man. The radio roulette was fun. Yeah. K shine and easy. We got a lot of great uh, predictions today. A lot of a lot of everybody trying to not disrespect somebody, but still disrespecting somebody in the process. That's pretty much the summary yeah. today. I mean, Justin didn't try not disrespect anybody. He was just he was just going to do it. But <laughs> the rest of us, yeah. <laughs> Some of us try to stay try to stay professional. Nah, this is, this is good, man. This is good. Everybody tune in. Salute to you guys on Let's Talk Battle Rap. We will upload today's Radio Roulette on all streaming platforms, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, I know we didn't go live on Caffeine. I'm on. I'm actually on the move right now. That's the good thing about Twitter Spaces. You can do a show mobily when I'm not by my, my station and all that. Mobily? So, I made that word up right now. Mobily. I respect it. You feel me? It's tragical. It's it, tragical, bro. It's, it's, tragical is a word, apparently. I'm not, I don't care what Tony bro said. Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Chess, salute to you, bro. Much love. Right, salute up. Yeah, big salute. All right, Titus Ty, man. Let's wrap it up, man. We out of here. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Monday afternoon. Stay up to date for right. all the updates around the coach from LTBR Podcast Daily, LTBR News, and we out of here. Salute, everybody. Salute, salute. I hope none of your teams prosper, Reggie. <laughs>